Such a fine young lady. No, no, no. Come, come, come. Let's see. Let's, let's have a talk. So, how can I help you, my dear? Uh, I'm here to talk about sex workers and children. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, now, my girl, do you understand that this is the Department of Justice? I know. You, you understand that I can, just for saying that word, I can have you, I can call the police now and uh, because. You cannot come to the Department of Justice and talk about sex work. What is that? Well, Baba, you know it's a sovereign nation. We are your children. Whether they're sex workers or not, we do contribute to the uh, to, to the economy of this nation. So Where did you go to school? Namibia. Oh, I see. Talk about sovereign. So anyway, okay, okay. I'll give you, I'll give you time to, because I see you have a lot to say about this sex work. So, but why did you choose the Department of Health, uh, my, my, my child? Uh, I mean the Department of Justice, the because why, uh, there are many other departments. That this is a, a, an issue for other departments, not this department. This is a Department of Justice. Do you understand that? Yes. Then we, I'm not asking you to legalize sex work. Neither am I asking you to make <coughs> a law on it. But maybe later on we can talk about it. Maybe we, we create a record. But right now, let's just talk about what I came here for. Okay. I met okay. Elizabeth Horvick. She's part of your your team yes, 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 here yes, as the yes, Minister of Justice. Yes. And uh, she said to me, I think our ministry can help you do something. And I just mentioned my project. Uh, this year, I got AVAC 2018 fellow, uh, fellowship program, and I'm focusing on treatment as we mentioned for sex workers. So coming up with treatment guidelines. You see, you see that's what I'm talking about. But we, this, is a, this is not the Department of Health. Can you see? Do you, do you read outside? <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand, yeah, but I so. know you've got connections. I hate going through all the lower levels and they take time. I only have a year and I have to push this. So I really want to work with ministers this time. And I know ministers have a lot of influence over their subordinates and they can make okay. this work. All right, let's hear you. Let's hear you. I don't really have a lot of time. Okay. <laughs> so we want to come up with treatment, treatment guidelines. As you know, our privilege rate in Zimbabwe is going down. But then among six figures, it's 60%. So as far as I'm concerned, as a nation, we were just running around and trying to announce to the whole world that our, the privilege rate is going down. So we want to introduce treatment guidelines. And this will focus on treatment discrimination for sex workers. What is treatment discrimination, you might ask? But why, why, why sex workers? Because sex workers are a vulnerable group. And a lot of us, a lot of ministers ignore sex workers. It's like they do not exist. So you're trying to tell me you are a sex worker? You never know. I'm not a sex worker, but I do work with sex workers. But why, why do you represent sex workers? Because I think they deserve to be heard out there and you deserve to be listened to them. So just to help you understand why I work with sex workers, I'd like to invite you to a field visit uh, at one of our clinics at Sesha. Then you can come and have a talk with the sex workers. You get to hear their stories. Me going to talk with sex workers? Yes, sir. <laughs> you get to hear their stories. You get to hear what they're all about. And you get to hear the, some of the things that they go through when they go to a public health system. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. Let me, let me see what I can do. Uh, so this is the reason why you were sitting outside all this time uh, waiting for me to, 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 to let you in, to hear, to hear me. Okay, so that you can hear the voices of the sex workers. No, you, you look like a very good lady, so I am very happy to, to, to help you and do uh, whatever I can. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, so this was my first meeting with the Minister of Justice. He's a very tough man. Those two can can vouch for that. He will ask you the hardest questions in the room. Um, but part of my, I'm not very good at technology, so I, I never have a laptop. But part of my uh, project was to come up with treatment guidelines for sex workers, and we do have a draft now. I'm glad to see. You. Uh, the biggest challenge I faced last year, number one, were some of the organizations that I wanted to work with um, on this project. The 
because uh, some were saying why did you focus on sex workers why not put MSM and why not put all the key populations why not just say treatment guidelines for key populations but my project when I applied it was specifically for sex workers and then the organization that was hosting me was totally focusing on female sex workers because they have a memorandum of understanding with the government to work on female sex workers only. So I had to comply with session. Whether I wanted to or I didn't, that's beside the point. I had to comply. So um, it took a lot of traveling, going to meetups with sex workers. I'm a professional person. Uh, I did, I did associate with sex workers, but not really to their level. So it took me a while to get down to the level of sex workers and actually get there and get into what they go through and take off all the hats and all the caps and all the profession and everything and just be a person and, and move around with sex workers. So at first, my first meeting, the first question I was asked, are you a sex worker? I said no because I did not want to be associated with being a sex worker. Um, I, I don't know if you guys knew about it, but I even on radio, my first uh, radio interview, I said I'm not a sex worker. But then as I went through my project, I realized who a sex worker was, like I said yesterday. So I became a sex worker. I was very proud to be a sex worker. <laughs> so, uh, we went through the whole process, we, we engaged um, some of the key stakeholders from the Ministry of Health to come and help us draft these guidelines. It took a long time because I had to listen to the voices of the sex workers if they understood what treatment as prevention was for them before it became for any other person. And that's one lesson I learned that treatment as prevention is treatment first for that individual before it becomes for the bigger uh, group of people or the whole country. So, surprisingly, I don't know, half of them do know what treatment is prevention of. They have way on treatment, but they did not even know there was such a thing as treatment as prevention. So it took sitting down, explaining what it was, trying to turn it into Shona and put it into Shona words. And then uh, came elections and every minister is busy during the elections. No one has time for you. All the NGOs are kind of taking a back seat. They don't want to talk about anything because they are we're going towards elections. And it took a lot of battering when you're going to meetings. They say, you NGOs are here to inf uh, infiltrate people's minds and colonize them and what was. But at the end of the day, it all boiled down to speaking their language. and coming up with this and then moving the document from the Minister of Justice because the only minister who was my friend then became the Minister of Finance. So now the document <laughs> remained behind and we had to move it to the Minister of Health. People from the Minister of Health were involved but then the Minister of Health changed as well. So that was like a setback. For me, that was like, you know what, guys, I am done. I'm not going to do this anymore. This is difficult. But then it took a lot of going into meetings, engaging the Minister of Finance now to bring everyone to sit down at the table because the guy who is in charge with Minister of Justice is also anti-sex workers 100%. And the, the, la the lady, Elizabeth Hawley, went with the Minister of Finance from Justice to I don't know how they did that. I don't want to know. And then some guy replaced her, and that guy was hard-headed. It took another field visit to the clinic, listening to sex workers. It was like starting all over, but at least we now had a doctor. So 